Hi, my name is Erin Miner, and I'm excited to be sharing my poster presentation with you titled Facilitating Meaningful Participation in Daily Occupations, Occupational Therapy Within the Adolescent Eating Disorders Population. I conducted a scoping review guided by the clinical question, what interventions within the scope of occupational therapy address meal preparation or cooking among individuals with eating disorders? I selected this question because there's an increased prevalence of eating disorders within the pediatric population, yet limited research to guide treatment. Due to eating disorder pathology, meal preparation is difficult and distressing, however necessary for recovery outcomes and prevention of relapse. This is also an area that OT is equipped to address. Seven articles were included in the scoping review, and with these seven articles, a concept map was created with five identified themes shown in figure one. The scoping review concluded that the use of exposure to food stimuli reduced anxiety, decreased avoidance behavior, and a food, improved food intake necessary for weight gain and medical stability. Additionally, interventions incorporating meal preparation improved patients' perceived abilities and motivation to prepare and eat prepared meals. Therefore, it was deemed applicable within the scope of occupational therapy to implement exposure therapy within the function-based context of a meal preparation intervention. My doctoral experience was completed at Nationwide Children's Hospital Eating Disorders Clinic located in Columbus, Ohio. This clinic serves adolescents diagnosed with an eating disorder and disordered eating. This is a multidisciplinary program consisting of dietitians, physician, nursing, psychiatry, and behavioral health therapists. This team works collaboratively with the patient and their family at all levels to ensure medical stability, stabilize eating behavior, and work through concerns related to eating disorder comorbidities. Additional time was spent with the inpatient behavioral health population at Nationwide Children's Hospital to gain further insight of occupational therapy's role in the treatment of various pediatric mental health diagnoses. My role as a doctoral student at the Eating Disorder Clinic included collaborating with the interdisciplinary care team and offering insight on patient progress through an occupational therapy perspective, planning and administering occupational therapy group intervention sessions with partial hospitalization programming, and co-facilitating the exposure therapy cooking group with a registered dietitian and culinary staff. Projects completed include conducting a literature review to determine new interventions to include in current programming curriculum, creating and collaboratively implementing the revised exposure therapy cooking group protocol, implementing a revised and efficient means of communication between OT and the care team, creating informative resources detailing OT's role within behavioral health, specifically eating disorder care, as well as rationale and importance of exposure therapy and the treatment of eating disorders. I revised the current occupational therapy evaluation and implemented face-to-face -face evaluations and assessments with all eating disorder patients at this clinic. I also created a protocol manual for pilot trials of evidence-based reintegration to physical activity intervention groups with eating disorder patients. For my capstone project, I conducted a facility level assessment for implementation of a revised exposure therapy cooking group protocol. Through initial surveys and informal meetings, research approaches were discussed to implement and adopt into the current protocol. Research approaches were assessed for appropriateness, acceptability, feasibility, sustainability for administering at this clinic. Three clinical trials were completed adhering to the revised protocol and assessed according to the four discussed facility level domains. For the four domains, following trial implementations, protocol is deemed appropriate for patient needs and clinic curriculum, acceptable by key stakeholders and patients as they participated fully in all aspects, was feasible to implement, and sustainable for continued use. We will now answer questions about my poster. First question is, what is exposure therapy? Exposure therapy is a gradual exposure to feared stimuli with the intent that through this exposure, patients will become habituated to the feared stimuli and more comfortable. In this instance, patients were exposed to the preparation and nutritional intake of feared foods. My next question, can you elaborate on revisions made to the prior cooking group? Revisions include the implementation of discussions where patients are asked to identify levels of anxiety, what they are anxious about pertaining to the group, perceived eating disorder thoughts and coping strategies to utilize during meal preparation. Additionally, all meal preparation was done by the patients in a simulated kitchen environment with patients following a recipe and completing all steps. The clinicians facilitating this group also um, administered the preparation of the meals and consumed the meals alongside patients to demonstrate appropriate behaviors. And my final question, what is the importance of completing meal preparation in a kitchen environment? This is important for the transferability of lifelong skills into a real-life setting outside of the clinic. 
Thank you for your time.